New films from Berlin show yet more evidence of the colossal damage done. The ruins speak for themselves of the devastating effect of Allied bombing, but an artist painting a view which includes the Kaiser Wilhelm Church makes a record of the scene. One aspect of the aftermath of Berlin's ordeal is a rather forced gaiety. Life has to continue amid the ruins, and the Berliners' first reaction would seem to be a sort of wishful thinking that their troubles are over. In what you might call the West End, at any rate, people try to resume the life they used to lead there before the war. They must realize, if they look ahead, that the true prospect is anything but idling away their time at open-air cafes. very hard time indeed can be anticipated next winter, but meanwhile there's a semblance of gaiety at the Wannsee, for instance. This is a lake in a Berlin suburb, and occupation troops have naturally taken advantage of the amenities still available. Others, notably the desert rats, prefer the Olympic Stadium swimming pool. Having come all the way from Alamein, they all thoroughly appreciate a swim in Berlin. Back on the Wannsee beach, Allied troops talk to German girls. Fraternization, once the ban had been lifted for British and Americans, became a matter of personal choice. Field Marshal Montgomery's message to the troops said, It is now deemed desirable and timely to permit members of the British Armed Forces to engage in conversation with adult Germans in the streets and public places. Well, some do and some don't. Berlin's nightlife was once notorious. A nightclub called the Femina was one of the hot spots in the old days. Doesn't really look so hot now. Possibly some Berliners fondly imagine that the old days will return. However that may be, they're trying hard to produce a little gaiety now. Allied troops can visit the Femina, and some of them have done so. Another sidelight on life in Berlin was the market just outside the Reichstag. Goods were bought and sold by barter and exchange, or sometimes for cash. And of course, Allied money is now highly prized by Berliners. But a ban was put on this market. The inter-Allied provost ordered the German police to put a stop to it. So one afternoon they surrounded the place and arrested large numbers of Germans there. The troops weren't interfered with, but the Berliners were rounded up and searched and their identity cards checked. So there's another aspect of Berlin today, and certainly a sign of the times.